Hi everyone, my name is Marion Miller. Welcome to On The Cushion. This week I'm going to talk about resilience. Um, so resilience is really um, an innate quality uh, that promotes human development and everybody is born with, um, with it. Um, you know, every single one of us is born with resiliency. I guess you could almost compare it to something like awareness, for example. It's an innate human quality um, to be born with resilience. Um, but what research has found that's really interesting is that, uh, you know, populations that might be in um, a war zone or a place where human rights are really being abused and frayed, um, is that a certain amount of the population, despite such um, a negative context, they're still able to grow and learn other um, developmental things like social development or um, intelligence and you know those sorts of things, despite um, major challenges to survival. Um, so, so what they learn from this is that from this research is not it was not some genetic quality or some uh, trait within themselves so much as um, within their environment so within their schools or with their families or their communities there was some kind of protective process at play that enabled them to uh, develop that resiliency uh, mechanism so knowing this, um, it's really important to understand that resiliency isn't a measure of someone's individual ability to bounce back, but rather it's a dynamic process. Um, and within an organisation, what we tend to focus on is developing these um, environmental processes through uh, some of the things that uh, are happening already within the organisation and I'll just run through some of them so that you can start to I guess develop them in your relationships um, and also in your organisation if you work in one. So the first one I'd like to discuss is uh, resilient attitude. It's really about uh, you know having this attitude if you're working with someone or you're in a relationship with someone it's that attitude of you know you can do this you've got this um, you know, fostering that kind of attitude certainly makes a big difference. Um, even as a parent, you know, when, when you encourage your child and give them that sort of, you know, encouragement and that positive attitude that you can do it, um, it really helps them um, foster their resiliency and it really helps you foster their resiliency. So the strengths perspective is another great way to foster resiliency in your organisation. It's being able to take your attention away from your weaknesses and put it on your um, strengths and uh, looking at the strengths also of your organisation, especially in the framework of setbacks or challenges or how you adopt to, uh, how you adapt to change. So in positive psychology, there's 24 strengths and um, Strengths are quite often a uh, focus of coaching, how to develop those strengths and how to bring them out more because uh, they don't take a lot of energy because they're naturally things that you're good at. Um, so also a part of resiliency is being able to provide, give and receive support and having processes within an organisation that allows people to feel supported and feel like they're cared for makes a big difference to their ability to um, bounce back. And having these within, you know, not just your organisation, but also your life, it's really important. Uh, one of the big parts of uh, fostering resiliency in other people is having that expectation, a high but realistic expectation of success. So really believing um, and having that expectation and, you know, looking for the success um, really helps to, um, you know, take everyone on that journey of, you know, being able to just keep moving through um, the challenges and, and the setbacks. Um, providing opportunities for meaningful connection can be really powerful for resiliency. Uh, quite often when someone's experienced a real hardship of their own and able to support another person, there's a lot of uh, research around this being a really good um, environmental process of developing resiliency. So being able to share that um, 
is obviously very meaningful for the person sharing and also the person receiving that kind of um, support and connection from someone who knows what they're going through. Um, and also increasing the positive bonds um, in your relationship. So having some, um, having people in your life or in your organisation that you can go to that um, is always really positive and it's always makes you feel good and there's an activity you can do together that feels really good. Um, and lastly, setting and maintaining really clear boundaries for yourself and for um, perhaps your team and um, if you're in leadership, obviously the organisation as a whole. Um, and that helps everyone sort of know where they are and, and what they can expect within that context. So I invite you to uh, looking into your own um, organisation and having a look at what uh, protective um, processes that you have um, access to and that you can obviously enhance at work um, and that can definitely improve not only your own ability to be more resilient but providing that for your team and your organisational context. So thanks for tuning in, I hope you have a really great time and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.